since we got the ignition system figured out, next is to get the fuel system working. Um, good news is, got the gas tank out. Now, so I don't see really any issue, rest issues in the trunk. I know there's a little bit on the, like that brace right there, and a very tiny bit on the bottom of the wheel well. But other than that, it looks okay. But here's the tank. Hope I don't have to get a new one because these are like $400 a new one. So uh, we'll see what happens. Well, it looks like we we'll have to find a used gas tank or really, or maybe drop the money on a new one. I don't know, but. <laughs> two holes here, we've got a patch here, a patch here, another two holes here, and my favorite one is the JB Weld Fix on the back. So, yeah, I don't think this one's going to work, but listen, listen to this, I hope you can hear it. All kinds of garbage in there, I don't even, see? <laughs> I don't even think that's worth keeping. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what we do if we go with the the stock tank, or if we go with some kind of newer one. The problem is these are like four hundred dollars, so we'll see what happens. Well, as I thought, the sending unit totally trash. <laughs> It doesn't even move. That's full of junk. I can just imagine what the inside of that gas tank looks like. Gross. So we finished rebuilding carburetor number one, and now we're going to go rebuild carburetor number two. I just want to make a quick videos to show you the, you know, it cleaned up fairly well, one compared to the other, so we'll see um, what the second one's missing. The first one was missing the spring that holds the metering rods in, so we'll just have to see how it goes. <laughs> 